This is a story about my road bike, Spartacus. He's not just an imaginary friend. And we can blame it on my therapist because if she gave me good drugs, I wouldn't have imaginary friends. <laughs> She's the last person who believes in talk therapy, and I know this because I compare notes with my friends. We're in a very special group together. We are survivors of long-term unions in transition. We are those women that your mother told you to be afraid of. We are middle-aged sluts. <laughs> when I get together with them, I find out that we were all married more than 20 years before things went south. And so, like people getting out of prison for long sentences, we all have therapists. But they had something special that I did not. They had special candy and therapy. I just had talking and breathing. So, when I go back to my therapist, I said, hey, you're holding out on me. You've got the good stuff, why don't I have any? And she looked at me and she said, you are coming out of a 28-year relationship. You have the social maturity of a 19-year-old. All the drugs in the world aren't going to change that, but I have something for you. And I said, yes, Ativan, Zoloft, Xanax? She said, no, go outside and get some exercise. <laughs> But I tell you, I live in Northern Virginia and I am a middle-aged woman and this is how we get our exercise. We get in our SUVs and we drive to the goddamn gym and we get the closest space up next to the door and we walk downstairs into an airless, windowless room and we lock ourselves into an electric machine that simulates running. Going outside, that's talking crazy. <laughs> there I was, up on the WOD in my running shoes, doing my best simulated imitation of my imitation running. Something like this. <laughs> like prancer size, only worse. And all of a sudden, off of my shoulder, six inches away from my ear, comes a bike going about 100 miles an hour, give or take 80. And I'm like, you goddamn psychopath, you're gonna kill me. And I decided right then and there I would get off that marked middle line, and move over to the right and do my prancer size smell <laughs> and look over my shoulder. And it was like a parade. One, two, three, four, five. These bikes were whizzing past me so fast. These men, and they were mostly men in those little tiny bike shorts. And so I was seeing all of this very fast, very cool male ass, one after another, after another, sweaty man ass on bikes. And I had a visit from my spirit guide, Jed Clampett, from the Beverly Hillbillies. And he said, girly, I reckon you better load up a truck and get yourself a bike. And I said, Jed, you're right. I want a heap and helping of that hospitality. So I quickly simulated my running over to the local bike store, conveniently located one block from the WOD. And I flung open the doors and I said, I want to buy a bike, a fast bike. And the man said, you want a road bike? And I said, yes, I want a bike you can ride in the road. Because what the hell, hell the kind of bike is there? And he said a bunch of words I didn't understand. Shimano, big ring, little ring, little dipper, granny wheel. I, I said, stop, Smokey. What exactly are we talking here? How much is this going to cost me? An arm and a leg or a kidney and a liver? And he said, oh, roughly a grand. And I had two thoughts. One, my 11-year-old son Rambo, he was going to really enjoy community college. And two, <laughs> if this was the starter cost for those bikes going by, then these men, these men out there, they had something I really liked. They were employed with <laughs> benefits, medical and dental. So I went home and I explained how it was going to be in community college to my son. I emptied out his college savings and I bought myself a bike. And that's when it got weird. 
realized that they were fixing it in the back. And I said, thank you very much. And Sammy said, well, what kind of pedals do you want with that, ma'am? And I said, I just spent $1,100 on a bike that doesn't have pedals. <laughs> the next thing you're going to tell me, it doesn't have a kickstand either. <laughs> Road bikes never have kickstands. I had just revealed myself to be a bigger ass than I already had been with this man. So then emboldened, he says, well, what kind of bike shorts are you going to get? the shorty short ones or the conservative ones. And I said, sir, look at me. I'm 50 years old. I do not wear lycra. And he said, well, there is that chafing and that rubbing and that micro tearing and that smushing. And I might be a little slow, but I suddenly realized that this man and I were having an open, frank discussion about my vagina <laughs> in the middle of a store on a Saturday. And I said, just shut up and stick them in a bag. I'll take them to be quiet, for God's sake. And then he said, you better go up a size. And I said, excuse me? Are you saying my ass looks big? And he said, no, it has to do with the European sizing. But that brings me to another point. We have to measure your ass. I said, this is not Lulu Moon. I am not bending over. He said, no, really, we have an assometer. <laughs> Bullshit. <laughs> no, really. I said, well, let me take the little assometer into the little dressing room, and I'll have the little calipers, and I'll do it myself. And he said, no. And from under the counter, he gets this foam-covered cushion that I am supposed to sit on, and it's going to measure where one bone starts and the other bone finishes, and then they're going to measure in between. They say, you see that section over there where we sell the shoes? I said, where, the, where are the, all the men are milling around? Yes, that's where we do it, because we have to have your feet elevated. So there I was in the shoe section, the size of a coffin on a Saturday afternoon, with my feet elevated, my ass sticking on this thing, and passing boxes of shoes over my head to the men. Don't mind me, we're just measuring my ass. Three years later, Spartacus' saddle is in disrepair. It looks like a beaver chew toy. But I'll be damned if I'm going to go back into that local bike shop and walk up to Skippy and say, hey, want to measure my ass? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>